the next time you're in Frankfurt, you might want to stop by their library to view some local art. Joining me now are Bob Hahn and Flo Cottle to t talk about the event that's going on in Frankfurt, showing off the Hahn Art Collection. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Well, tell me a little bit about this collection, what people can expect to see. Well, at the library right now, we've got 26 pieces from Bob and Ellie Hahn's collection. This is the 10th year that they have been um, loaning us artwork, and we're very grateful. It's a wonderful collection of Indiana art, early Indiana art. In this particular exhibition, there are two wonderful T.C. Steele paintings, which Bob could tell you a little bit more about, um, and a number of other early Indiana artists, mostly from 1880s to about the... 1940s, Bob? Yes. Well, yeah. if, if, Bob, if you want to talk about some of, some of the paintings in the collection, we have a few pictures that we're going to show here, um, and just some of the things that people can see um, in the collection. Well, what we, what we try to do when we choose the paintings is to get some from each um, major group of artists in the state. The Hoosier group is the most famous group, and then there's the Brown County group, the Richmond group, and, and the regionalist group. So we have some paintings from each of those. The painting on the screen now is uh, Ello Griffith. It's called Maiden. He's a Brown County artist, and this is an early picture by him. Uh, this painting is, is Otto Stark, and it's of his daughter, uh, Susan. Um, he painted his children a lot when he painted. When he painted. Mm -hmm. um, and the first painting that was up there, it's not there anymore, is uh, Adam Emery Albright, and it's called Coming Home. It's, it picks, depicts three children, four children, coming home from berry picking, carrying their baskets and walking down the hill. And uh, you said the Indiana Connection is the idea behind this. Yes, all the paintings in our collection are painted by Indiana artists, um, namely artists that, that painted in Indiana. They don't necessarily have to have their studio here, but they have to have traveled to Indiana for the specific purpose of painting in Indiana. And, and most of them do, did live in Indiana, but so, some did not. And no doubt this is the time of year when uh, most artists are having the best time in Indiana, all the beautiful colors that are starting to turn, I'm sure. Um, well, Flo, let's talk a little bit about if people want to come and actually see it, uh, sure. how long it's going on. Sure. Tomorrow night we have an opening uh, reception and a gallery talk. Bob will actually be talking about the art collection and telling people about each painting. Bob is a wonderful resource as far as early Indiana art history, mm -hmm. and his gallery talks are always interesting. Um, the show will be up through November the 19th and open during regular library hours, which would be Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays from 9 to 5, and Sundays 1 to 5. So maybe go check out a good book and check out some great art as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, thanks for being here this afternoon. Oh, thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. Well, still to come, one area hospital.